Hi and welcome back to this series. Uh, we're talking about on how to create an Active Directory service account and a scoring corresponding key tab to automate uh, Unix, Linux, and Mac uh, joins to Active Directory, right? So this is going to be very important for your DevOps, your automation, your orchestration. And uh, in the first video, we created uh, the Active Directory service account. We provided the delegation at the OU levels. We provided the delegations at the Centrify zone level. In the second video, we created the actual key tab. Now we're going to test, right? And uh, what do I have here? I have our, I have our key tab file, and uh, I have uh, a system that is still joined to Active Directory, right? So I have to leave Active Directory. But before I do that, uh, here's what I need to do. I need a usable uh, krb5.com file because the way um, the join works is I have to k in it to that uh, service account so I can get a TGT, and then I'm going to run AD join. But when you run AD leave to clean up the machine to leave the domain, this is going to roll back all the K uh, Kerberos or the PAM, all the NSS uh, changes. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to copy uh, my kerby5.com file uh, to my local directory, right? So now I have uh, basically what I call uh, a usable key tab. Uh, so um, this has all the encryption levels, all the KDCs for my domain, right? So uh, maintained by the Centrify agent. So now I can leave the domain, no problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the, the AD leave command uh, with the dash dash remove option. Remember, you're, you're working with your Active Directory administrator here. So if you have separation of duties, then you're working together, right? So uh, I'm going to go ahead and run this command uh, in the reverse mode. This uh, basically should remove my machine uh, from Active Directory. So if I go back to uh, you know, Access Manager and I do a refresh, notice that the machine is left the zone. If I go back to uh, Active Directory uh, ADOC, uh, notice that if I refresh, the machine is left the zone. So if I go back here and I do an AD info, notice that it's not joined to the domain. If I cat the Etsy krb5.com file, and notice that. Oh, Actually, there's no tkrb5.com file. So, um, so um, what I need to do now to test it uh, is very simple. I'm going to, um, and again, you know, notice that everything is ACLed uh, to root. So, if I'm doing this as a regular user, I have to, you know, I have to elevate, right? So, I'm going to use the knit command. So, our knit command is under user share centrify dc. Kerberos bin, right? Uh, and before I do that, um, this is uh, the pearls of doing things live, right? I need to basically specify what is my krb5.com fake file path, right? So um, I'm going to use my own cheat sheet here, and I'm going to go ahead and do that so I can modify everything, right? So let's use this uh, text file here. So in my case, uh, the path to my krb5.com file is, oh, pretty bad, uh, root, that's not good, right? Uh, and, uh, you know, user share center to see Kerberos bin, k in it, this is where k in it is, and um, the key tab is on the root, and it's ad joiner, that key tab. Let's uh, verify that. And the principal name is AD Joiner. Right? So what we do is we're, we're going to run that command. Right? For, uh, first, if we wanted to, uh, to double check, what we can do is before we run the command is uh, user share, centrify DC, Kerberos bin and we're going to do a k destroy right there was nothing there if i do a k list there's nothing there so i can actually happily run my command now and expect to see some results okay i, I did it twice so we're going to clean that up If I run it, configuration file does not specify. Right, of course, I did not take care of the brackets. So this is good. We're seeing uh, 
how the clock tells the time. So here it is. It's uh, um, you know I'm in a shared environment in AWS. Typically, if you have your own environment, this would be instantaneous, right? But again, we're this this are the perils of sometimes using T1 micros and shared environments here. So um, my expectation is that after um, uh, this command runs, I can um, you know I can do a, a K list and see that I have a TGT for that. Um, for that particular um, uh, principle here. So if I go and do a K list, notice that I'm already authenticated um, as AD joiner. So what I need to do is, it's just a, run AD join. So I'm going to do an AD join. In this case, my zone is called global. And my container, what I want to put the computers is called uh, OU equals servers, OU equals centrify. Or you equals hosted AD. This is going to vary with your environments. I like to do this in verbose mode. And uh, I don't need to specify any other credentials because I'm already authenticated. And AD join is Kerberized. So we're going to do uh, the name of the domain. So what happened there? Where was the mistake? So zone Z zone global verbose hosted AD. So where uh, is my error? Oh, capital Z. See again, we're making, we're seeing how the clock works here. So it's going. So in this case. Um, it's, it's joined Active Directory, and if I refresh here, notice that I am um, uh, my machine is here. If I refresh here, my machine is here. A variation of this uh, could have been that I, uh, you know, leave the domain, and I don't have to reauthenticate again because I still have the TET for that account, right? So um, I could just simply uh, do an AD leave. Just to test that uh, you can remove machines, All right? And um, it, it looks that everything is fine. I can leave the domain as well. So that's the other use case. The final use case would be to join a computer role also on join, right? So I'm going to just uh, recall this command, and um, I'm going to also add the minus minus r it's uh, the short version and I'm gonna look at my web servers role and I'm gonna see if I can join it it's right, so a web servers and basically what will happen is that the machine will be uh, put in this in this group here so notice that there's no groups no there's no principles in this uh, security group if it fails um, and I'm gonna do only one take of this uh, it's because I didn't do the proper delegations, but I know that this key tab is actually good. Here you go. It says found uh, role web servers right here, right? Uh, and uh, if I look at uh, my group, I'm going to just go ahead and do a refresh. And here's my machine there. And if I go into my computer role here, refresh, there's my machine here. So bottom line, right? Now we have uh, a service account, a usable key tab, a password that nobody knows, uh, and we are able to join the zone automatically. We're able to uh, put the, the computer in the right container uh, in AD, and we're able to also put it in a computer role. I'm hoping that this serves as a, as a building block for your automation and DevOps operations. This one was a little long, but we're very fine, right?